NASA continues our team coverage with a pretty bizarre story. During the height of the storm today, a manhole cover actually exploded into the air and landed on a driver's windshield. So, John, was anyone hurt? Yeah, fortunately, no, Denise. And when you consider the size and weight of most manhole covers around this town, that in all of this is the amazing part. A manhole cover sits squarely on the driver's side front window of Brianna Pratt's Honda SUV after an explosion at East 17th in St. Clair sent the massive metal disc flying. Scott Durham couldn't believe it. We're driving down the street and all of a sudden we see a big bolt of lightning and boom. Just looked over, saw the car coming through. There's a big cloud of smoke and, and the manhole blew up into the air and landed right on our windshield. He at least had a better view than Brianna did. I thought the world had exploded. I ain't know. Happened. I'm thinking somebody had threw a bomb at me and it landed on top of the car. Cleveland Public Power worked to determine the cause of the explosion while Brianna sat and waited, thankfully, for a tow truck, not an ambulance. I'm just glad that I didn't come through the windshield because I just, I don't know, I don't think my arms could have protected me. <laughs> Well, despite what witnesses say it looked like lightning, Cleveland Public Power tells me it was just simply an explosion caused by what they call a cable fault and not weather related. Reporting live in Cleveland, John Kosick, News Channel 5.